It's your boy, Fresh Mountain Bike here, and today, I finally got a new bike. Now those of you that have been following the channel for a little bit, probably know that I've been riding the absolute balls off my old bike, which was a Turner Sultan 29er. And it held up surprisingly well for what I was putting it through. It definitely was designed to be a trail bike, but I was kind of throwing it at 10 foot drops and huge jumps and it was struggling to keep up a little bit. So it was time to get a new bike. And here she is. The Pivot Mach 6, which comes in at the low, low price of $7,500. But for that price, you get a hell of a bike. It comes with a SRAM X01 Eagle 12 speed drivetrain, as well as a Fox X2 shock in the back that gives you around 160 mil of travel, an all carbon mint colored frame that is absolutely gorgeous, a Fox 36 front fork for another 160 mil of travel as well as the wheels which are actually a 27 and a half both front and rear which are awesome for catching some sick ass air and also some other components that are ridiculously expensive that i'll throw up on the screen now if you're interested to look at it so you may be thinking that's a pretty sweet looking bike right there but looks ain't everything kids the important question is does it shred and the answer is absolutely it shreds Another thing about this bike that I didn't expect was this bike really likes to go fast. Like if you point it downhill, you better be prepared to haul some booty. Cause by God, that's what's gonna happen. So much speed. Oh, I love this bike. Golly. Now this bike can really shred the gnar, but it's bread and butter, it's hitting jumps and doing some sick whips. So it's time to head over to Freeride 512 at Christ Church of Cedar Park to practice my whips and do some other stuff while I'm there. I want to give a quick shout out to Chris who let me get some follow cam footage of him while hitting these jumps. Uh, you can check him out on Instagram at New Shreds. And I also actually just made an Instagram myself. So if you want to follow me, you should definitely go do that at Rank Mountain Biking. But now it's time to get back to shredding.
So of course, new bike video wouldn't be complete without living on the edge for a little bit and also maybe crashing a little bit. So to accomplish both of these tasks, I decided to head on over to Cat Mountain for the very first time. Oh my lord. And oh boy is it gnarly. Definitely some of the gnarliest trails I've ever laid eyes upon. But the Pivot Mach 6 did not even notice. It handled all of it like an absolute champ. And side note to that, I am working on a Cat Mountain video, but there's a lot of stuff out here and all of it's really hard. So it's gonna take me a couple trips to really nail it down and get good enough for a video. But it's coming eventually. So look forward to that. Oh, no. Holy crap. Also, side note, on some of the trails at Cat Mountain, they're so steep that it's actually impossible to slow down. Because if you apply too much brake, uh, your tires are just going to start skidding and you're going to lose all your traction. So in order to survive, you're going to have to commit and use as little brake as possible. And it's super gnarly, but it's so fun. Good Dola. Huh. Phew. That's ridiculous. I know. Oh, this is good. So I had survived some pretty gnarly trails, I didn't survive all of them, and I did have a wee bit of a crash. Ah! You okay? Yeah. I ripped my booty hole though. Yeah, I ripped my booty hole though. So after hitting some sick jumps, shredding the gnar, and crashing, my new bike video is officially complete. And boy was it a good new bike day. Cause this thing is an absolute monster. And I can't wait to test the limits of it. Also shout out to Josh for hitting me up to go ride Cat Mountain with him. It was dope. And if you want to follow him on Instagram, at joshyjosh2. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, you gotta go hard to get hard. Thanks for watching.